Hi guys and welcome back to Station Tutorials. I've been getting a lot of questions on this one. How do you make the videos that you upload look so good? So I'm actually going to walk you guys through today of exactly what I do when I finish a cut and go to upload a video to YouTube, Vimeo, the internet, whatever. I'm going to show you the steps that I take to prepare my export for upload. All right, so let's make sure we have our in and out points marked here. What we're going to do now is we're going to come up to File, Export, QuickTime Movie. And the reason I do this is because for everything that I do, I like to have a full res. So all of my footage here is at ProRes 422. Exporting QuickTime Movie will put out a ProRes 422, uh, which serves as a good um, large full res copy for uh, transcoded DSLR footage. As you can see here, we have our full HD 1920 by 1080 Apple ProRes 422, which comes out to be about 2.28 gigs, which is far too big to uh, upload. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open Compressor. And then we're going to drag our file into Compressor. And if you've never used Compressor before, this will all be collapsed down. And then we're going to go Apple, Other Workflows, Web, YouTube Sharing. We're going to drag that out onto our file. It defaults at 1280 to 720. But what we're going to do is we're going to come over and change it to 100% of the source. And now you can see our frame size goes to Full HD 1920 by 1080 there. You can see it gives us an estimated file size about 200 megabits there and then you can go up here and change your file name so I just get rid of the sharing so I know it's my YouTube version then you can also change your source right now the source is going to wherever it came from so this will default to the desktop if you want to change it you can go in here and change your destination but for now let's just leave it to the desktop okay then we're gonna come over here and hit submit hit submit again and then compressor will start working and it'll give you an estimation about how long it's going to take. It'll compress it for YouTube, which is an H.264 at about 8 megabits a second. You can see what your settings are in, in this window here. But what you can also do, if you have a smaller video file, you can come up here, and I'll do this sometimes to get a little extra quality. I will bump this up here. So we'll switch to automatic, drag this over to best, and then we can change our restriction to, let's do 12,000, and then let's hit OK. And now you can see right away our file size jumped to close to 300 megabits because we're giving it extra bit rate there. So if we give it a little bit of extra bit, it'll give it more data, it'll make it look better, but it'll also make for a larger file size. So what this YouTube setting does is it will optimize your videos for upload. Let's get info on both these files here. And now you can see we have our 2.28 gig master and our 200 megabit upload file. Now there's one other way to do this. If you have no interest or no need for a full res file or want to save space or whatever, you can also export straight out of Final Cut into Compressor. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So you're going to go to File, Send to Compressor. Our file will open up right here and repeat like we said before. You will drop the YouTube sharing directly on. This is a good way to keep your file size somewhat reasonable while you're not sacrificing too much quality at the same time and creating a quality file to upload and view on the web. Thanks for joining us and I'll catch you guys later.